in order for me to get through this day, I have to have coffee, so. gonna add an obscene amount of sugar to this, so I'm gonna probably cut that out. You want some coffee, Loki? More sugar. I'm just gonna add that I'm also gonna have some cookies. At one point, you're probably wondering when this haul's gonna start. Well, listen, I need this. I'm tired. I stayed up all night crying after reading a love hypothesis. I'm wondering, why is my bed empty? I don't know. I really don't know. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Can, can you get your your head in the frame? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's it's his moment to shine. Let's let him have his moment. Yeah. So after my sleepless night filled with tears, I went to Dollar General and spent $140. <laughs> if, that, if that's not a cry for help, I don't know what is. But here we are. I'm going to show you guys what I got and I'm not mad about anything. Actually, let's start off with probably the most irrelevant thing in here because I, I don't know why I got this, but it was so cute. Actually, I know why I got it. I got it because I had to share with you guys what I found at Dollar General. Even if I don't have a purpose for them, at least not yet, because Dollar Tree could never. I didn't even know mini pinatas were a thing. And it's real, you, you can fill it. You can fill it with candy. There's the little lift place the little hanging and these were I forget how much the pinata I think they were five dollars five dollars and I also found a cupcake which is just absolutely darling I mean it's so cute and miniature that it could like be desk decor I don't know and then I also found a little dog yeah so they just ended up in my cart, and it's funny because whenever I am shopping, it doesn't matter where I am, I immediately think of you guys first, and I'm just like, you know when you just have that like best friend you want to call and you want to share, like immediately I am thinking of you guys when I do this, and I was just like, no, I have to put this in my cart, they have to see this. So I got that, I'll put it away, I don't know what I'm going to do with it for now. Um, I did go in on some Christmas stuff, so there's quite a bit of Christmas stuff in this haul. I'm gonna try to do no editing because, you know, tired. I'm crying. Yes, I didn't make that painfully obvious. Um, but I actually grabbed some adorable candy bowls or candy dishes for Halloween. They had a third option. I don't know why I didn't get it. But look how cute these are. At Dollar General for $5. Like if this was at Dollar Tree in the bonus section for $5, I I don't even know that we would see that, to be honest, at Dollar Tree. So I think the price of this is amazing. I just, like these are something that you would just see at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. So I absolutely love them. I think the third option was I want to say like some type of cat or Frankenstein kind of thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know why I didn't grab it. Um, 
so but here we are i got these two and i think they're so adorable and they kind of have that uh joanna parker look to them a little bit just a little bit so i thought those were super cute um the other thing that i found and i wish i had my receipt on me maybe it's in one of these bags but um i this was a dollar i believe and it's the penolin i'm probably not saying that right i have it in my head but this is the one that i think that is a dupe to like pine Sol. and this is the brand that i wish i would see at dollar tree maybe some of you guys see it at dollar tree i just don't i think i have before but it's not like a constant restock in my stores and i've noticed that between my texas stores and my florida stores so anyways i was super excited to find this and i love the pine salt scent so i got that and then some more brand new uh fall finds i found these little like pumpkin candy jars they were a dollar i thought they were fabulous and they are plastic i would immediately go grab these and you can turn them into something in like a gift basket because i think they would look so cute or if you're like a realtor and you're having to put together a basket you know one of your clients got their home like these would be really cute and you could fill it with i don't even know maybe like potpourri or just candies or whatever so i thought they were super adorable there was a third color it was kind of like a tealy green color but like I don't use that color so i got the ones that i liked the most all right i'm gonna like try to unpack christmas and kind of stack it here in front of me until i can kind of do like a whole christmas segment in this video um so there's some more fall stuff and these are what i wish i would see at dollar tree they are just little tea lights but they are pumpkin shaped and I think they're so cute. And these were $3, not bad. I mean, considering the size of these and that they would probably range about maybe somewhere between six to eight at TJ Maxx. I think $3 is a really fair, great price. So I think these are really cute. I might actually offer these to Micah, just like, you know, for her to add a couple of little fall touches cause she loves tea lights. I don't know if she'll want them, but if not, I will be burning them for myself. So I got those and then I found a whole stash of like dollar products. That's what I like to do when I go to Dollar General now is I like to just see how it can compare to Dollar Tree. So there's that. Let me just continue to unwrap some more Christmas stuff so that, you know, when i get to it actually let's look at this because i'm i'm so excited for this i cannot believe i found this at dollar general it is a glass pitcher so it is glass and it was eight dollars i don't know if you guys remember but i hauled the glassware to this as a matter of fact let me pause this video and let me go get them so these are the glasses that i bought like a couple months ago at Dollar General. I was so excited in that video because I talked about how, oddly enough, I had been looking for glasses just like this um, when I moved here and actually even like before. And I could never find them because they're so expensive on Amazon, um, you know, because they have like the wicker thing going on and I forget, I think these were $2. I mean, the price is like, I don't, it's cause I washed it, but like, anyways, so, then I found the glass pitcher. Like how fabulous is this? It's just, I can't believe of all places and that's where I found this. I think that's what like honestly shocks me the most. All right, then I wanted to show you guys that I got two of these blankets in the same exact color. It is a full queen size and this like gray. Here's the other one identical the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm starting loki on a whole new regimen um if you've been like just following my instagram or just my vlogs i've been talking about the problem that i've been having with like his smell and the way that my room smells and just it just gets so overwhelming and i'm trying to like figure out how to manage this um because he's the kind of dog that can't be bathed all the time because he has like coarse hair and and he's just not like that's not their breed isn't supposed to be washed weekly like 
it, the reports go back and forth. Some say like a month and a half and some say three months, but like the official like breeding website for him says three months. So I don't want to overbathe him, but he just has this like male smell to him. And then what I've noticed is that I, what I need to do basically, let's, let's cut the story out, is I need to have multiple blankets for him and then I need to be taking them out daily, shaking them out, getting rid of the excess hair, and then washing them. And maybe every day is excessive, but if not, it's what I've learned is that once his scent kind of gets in to the blanket, it's almost like there's no coming out of it. So what my goal is, is to get like 14 sets of blankets. Again, sounds excessive, but two per night because he can't sleep in a bed. He tears it up. I've tried you guys. He tears up every single bed and he loves blankets. So one just doesn't seem like enough. So two per night, that's 14 for a week. And that gives me the opportunity to go one or two days, you know, and, and have the next set of blankets kind of coming in. And that way, when I go to wash them after one night or two nights, they're going to come out smelling good and clean. Um, yeah, so that is the goal. And so because I saw them for $15 at Dollar General, I thought, not a bad price, you know, at TJ Maxx and Home Goods are they're anywhere between $12, $14 to $19. So, so there it is. So I got that. Okay, in this bag, I am happy. Oh, here's my receipt. I'm happy to report that I got my first Florida hat. Well, no, I have a Florida hat, but this is my first one buying here in Florida. And I thought this one was so cute. I was so surprised that one Dollar General has a bunch of really good hats. And I noticed this like back in Texas, like in our Texas stores, we had UT, Texas Tech, A&M, you know, Baylor, TCU, UNT. Like we had all those schools in like the North Texas stores of Dollar General. So I wasn't surprised that here in the Florida stores, I'm seeing FSU, Florida Gators. And I had to go Florida Gators on this one. And because I think that's just, perhaps my school of choice here not that it honestly matters but i love that it says gators and then i just love the color combination eight dollars for this hat so super exciting and where should i put this one right there i picked up band-aids if you watched my last dollar tree haul i talked about band-aids and i talked about how the brands are the ones that i was buying the stickiness isn't that great. And then I found like the official like Band-Aid brand at Dollar General. I don't know how much the Band-Aids were. I don't want to spend too much time. I mean, look at this receipt. It goes on for days. I'm telling you, I was, I was crying last night. Um, but yeah, Band-Aids I think were probably a dollar. So there's that. And then I picked up a bar of soap. Again, just like picking up things that I get while I shop at Dollar Tree kind of in comparison. What I liked about this one is I haven't seen this bar at Dollar Tree. This is the lemon peel and agave, which sounds so amazing. And I have been getting more into bars of soap than anything else. I feel like I have officially maybe traveled back to bar soap instead of body wash. Because ever since I bought the gold dial, which I talked about, I have not used my regular body wash. So Anyways, I want to definitely try this out. As a matter of fact, I want to just smell this on camera. You busy? I don't know how long this video is going to be. But I'm telling you right now, I, I'm not editing it. I don't care what I do, what I say, how awkward it gets. Wow. That is strong. I'm liking the lemon zest. I don't know if I'm liking the agave. But I no, I think I do like this. Oh my, yeah, no, I, I definitely like it. It was a little like strong there at first, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I love that. All right, then I picked up this. This is Lady's Choice. At first I didn't know what the hell this was. I was like, what's going on in here? But it's nail polish remover pads. And I thought that was really cute and unique. You know, some of the same things that you can like get at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen it like this form or like box like this at Dollar Tree. 
And then what I've been missing from Dollar Tree are the Halloween peeps, which I'm so disappointed in. Perhaps it's just my stores here in my area. Maybe, you know, back home they're there or in your stores they're there. But I've been waiting for the Halloween peeps and I have yet to see them at my Dollar Trees. So I found them at Dollar General. I believe they're a dollar. So I got the ghost peeps and then I got the pumpkin peeps, which are so cute. I've never seen the pumpkin before, so I don't know if like pumpkin is new. If you're a peep guru, let us know. Is the, the pumpkin new or, or what? Now, what I personally want to do with mine is I'm gonna admit, I want them for like a whole Instagram moment. I think they're so cute, so photographable. And I wanna put them like in coffee and try to take like a whole, you know, Pinterest inspired um, thing. So there's that. Oops, okay, that fell. Um, all right, so what is in this bag? Okay, then I'll show you guys before, wait, what's in? Oh, let me show you this item right here because I was so shook by this. It's kind of like a Lazy Susan. Yeah, it was $8 with the strawberries. And they also have it in lemons. I don't know if there's anything else available. My store had lemons. I actually took a video of this, so I'll insert the video here so you can see the lemon print. And I do love lemons, but I found myself not liking the lemon print that much and I adored the strawberry print. Like, I just, yeah, I think it's so cute. So, for $8, I thought that was a hella good deal. So we got that. Okay, th those are Christmas plates. Now let me show you guys a bunch of like stationery. So much stuff in here. So I found all the stuff for a dollar. And they have like this little matching set of the cat and the dog, which is so freaking cute. And then I also found it in these little sticky notes, which are adorable. These are gonna be great for a little care package. And then I also found the same like dog and cat in these, uh, this like little list pad, which is really cool. Like I love the shape of them. And then they have the, magnets on the back so got the dog and the cat super cute so i got those i personally don't even need the cat one because like i'm a dog person I, I grew up with cats but like i'm a dog person so who knows what i'm gonna do i could just save it for my niece um and let her just like you know or send it to her in a care package then i found this little like floral set which i'm so excited about and i even found like a little pin set that goes with it as well so here's the list pad on that one and again all of this was a dollar so cheaper actually not even comparable in a sense but cheaper than dollar tree so we've got a weekly planner which i hauled some stationery from dollar general not too long ago like a cu couple of hauls back and i don't believe <laughs> I don't believe this is the same thing. So this is a weekly planner. Now I remember hauling something just like this, like a weekly planner, it's in my craft room somewhere. Um, but I think that this grid pattern is new. So I got that. And then here's the sticky note set that matches. And then I also got these little monthly planners that are so cute. Let's open up this one. And see what it looks like but it is a monthly planner so really you're just going to get the month at a glance and you're not going to get well here's a bunch of blank paper so there's that and then here's a little this is definitely very small this is going to be geared towards if one you're into like micro journaling which is very cute and very like i love it i love watching those videos on youtube um or if you're on the go throw it in your purse kind of thing because it's got that that good size so then i picked up this little pen ballpoint pen and gel pen set i love the colors it's very pretty i don't typically like gravitate towards colors like these but i think they're definitely fun and very beautiful so and then the gel pens are like you can see the ink 
inside they are the um the ink is the color of the pen which is really awesome because i think the grains are really special in terms of just like ink colors because i mean because we see red and we see pink but like the greens are always very interesting for me i don't know why my hands are all over the place i probably need to go to bed i need to go to sleep and wake up with dr adam carlson next to me there's just only one way out of this mess okay now i'm going to show you guys that's pretty much all the random stuff now i'm going to show you guys all the christmas finds because for starters these massive mason jars that's two dollars if you do not get to a dollar general right now so i love the tree and the little stars around it which is so cute and then you have the imprint on the lid and then this one is candy cane lane which i'm obsessed with i recently started getting into candy canes that's what i was doing in the media room at the last house if you guys remember so super cute love those and then i also found um dollar general's little tin cans which Dollar Tree does, but these are a dollar. So already cheaper. We've got the Buffalo check, the little farmhouse truck, all very much like Dollar Tree, but it's not. You're still gonna get different images between the two stores. And I love that because then we just get more and more of a variety. And then I found them in this size and I don't know what it is about this size, but I think it's absolutely adorable. And it makes me wanna do something with them i don't know what the first thing i am thinking of is like care package and filling them up with goodies but i think baking like a couple of little cookies and putting the, you know the, the parchment paper and putting the cookies in here very small but i still think so cute and effective also a dollar so like dollar tree right regardless of the size there's not really a price difference here but the candy canes is everything I'm probably gonna go back and get one more of these. And then I found this one, just very traditional. So super cute. I'm probably gonna put these in my office and just fill them with my planner stuff for now, but I might end up grabbing them for a care package. Then I found these mugs. And let me tell you, I've never been more impressed with Dollar General in my life. This is giving Pottery Barn to me, William Sonoma. Not, not even like, forget TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Like, this is giving $20, $30 mug to me, and it's at Dollar General for three. For three. Which, if you didn't watch, I think it was like my last Dollar General haul or the one before that, I'll link it down below. Go watch that video and see the mug that I hauled for fall. Because after I filmed that, I realized that it was an exact dupe to a Pottery Barn mug. That was sold out, by the way. And it was $3. And the Pottery Barn mug, of course, was like $30. So if you're going to go into Dollar General, this, these are the mugs, in my opinion, that are the best. They have more to choose from. But the simplicity, the color, the color that's on the rim, this blows Dollar Tree out of the park. Because one thing I think Dollar Tree lacks are mugs like this where it looks finished dollar tree will cut off the image you can just tell that you know that it's not the handle isn't painted the image kind of cuts so you get this white blank spot right here and then sometimes it just finishes too early before the lip like i don't know what it is dollar tree mugs have not impressed me lately but this the santa Please. I could go on for days. Then I found these Santa plates, which let me give you the backstory to this. I have been planning for what I want my tablescape to look like for Christmas. And I wanted Santa plates that was in the shape of Santa with the embossing of Santa. And I started to find out that that's actually kind of hard to find. Like it's just apparently not. Apparently you can find them at Dollar General. So let me show you. $5. I, 
I got two of them because more than likely I'm just gonna do two play settings. You know, it's just me and Micah, but I wanted this as like my centerpiece. I wanted to layer, you know, like the charger, plate, plate, plate kind of thing. And then this be my center plate or the plate at the top. And I can't believe I found this at Dollar General. So, and they have more, they have, who else? They had two other things. Was one a snowman and I forget what the other one was. I did not get pictures of those, sorry, but. I was very excited about the Santa plates. And I'm gonna end today's haul with, you know, I love cards. So now whenever I walk in Dollar General, I get very excited and look at this one. You, If you know me, you know that I'm looking for anything that just has this like gorgeous look, vintage look to it for crafting with. And I love this card right here. Santa with the bag of toys. And it's hard to tell but they're, the gold bits are foiled, but it's so pretty. Then I found this one. I, I thought that you guys would definitely love this. I'm not quite sure how, how I feel about it. I know I'm gonna craft with it for sure, but it's not like one of my favorites, but there's something about it that's just very traditional and pretty. You know what I mean? Not much to it, but the gold part is beautiful. So I got that. And then I found this one which hello, stunning, definitely gonna craft with this. I am going to be doing more YouTube lives where you guys can craft with me and junk journal with me. And for those of you that don't know, my Christmas junk journal mystery kits are out. They are absolutely amazing. In my humble opinion, they're the best. Of all the mystery kits I've done, my Christmas kits are my favorite of the entire year. So definitely go grab yours because I don't know honestly how long they're gonna last. Um, they're linked below. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing YouTube lives and doing more junk journaling. I'm still on my October, but we'll eventually get to the Christmas. And then I got this one, which did I get this one last time I was at Dollar General? I couldn't remember, but I thought to myself, I, I won't be mad if like this is my second or third pair. Cause I just know, I know myself, I know, you just, you know what I mean when you go shopping, you just kind of like know what you're gonna reach for the most and what you're not, I guess. So I got that and that's it. That's my $141.17 haul. To be fair, nine of it was taxes. So really it was 132.